Hey guys, what's going on? This is Nasser, aka the real estate guru. I'm not a guru, I'm a guru because I actually do this business. And we're gonna go over what is a double close. As wholesaling, we always talk about assignments, but what exactly is a double close? See me on the other side of this video. All right, guys, a double close essentially is, and I'm gonna give you a full example, right? Let's say a seller says, hey, I don't want you to sign this contract. If I see an assignment clause in your contract, then I'm not signing it. If I see an assignment on the HUD, I'm not signing it, right? Let's just say that's the scenario, right? Well, you then can do a double close. And let's say there's a $15,000 spread. You got it for 55, you're selling it for 70. Well, what that is, is you have a contract between you and the seller. So when you find the buyer, you are then going to have a contract between you and the buyer and you will go as the seller of the second contract on closing day what will happen is seller you're gonna go in and sign documents make sure you get the title insurance to protect the the title in the event something goes wrong with the title and they find out later there's a claim made it won't go after you personally so you want to do that whenever you buy a property what's gonna happen on closing day? you will come in and you're going to sign documents as if you are the buyer. You will then need transactional funding. You can go to Google and Google transactional funding companies or find some in your local market who are willing to fund your transaction, right? So with the A to the B, you're going to get it funded. So basically you're borrowing money for, you know, a few hours or even a day or a few days. So you're borrowing money and that person will charge you X amount um, for borrowing their money. What you will do at that particular point is they're going to close out the transaction they're going to record it then the buyer comes in and he's going to wire in his fund and you're going to turn around and sign seller documents Document stating that you're selling to this guy over here. And then what happens is he wires in the money. Transactional funding person gets paid back, plus the interest of the points, wherever they charge you to use their money. Um, you get the spread. So instead of your spread being 15,000 after closing cost and transactional funding, you may be around 12 or so, is 12 ish or so. Just depends on you know what you're paying for everything. Could be less, could be more. Yes, double closes do cost you money that is basically a double close it's not that complicated guys people just try to make it complicated but it's really not on one contract you're the buyer as if you were a wholesale the thing or gonna assign it the second contract you're the seller and then the end buyer is the buyer you send both to the attorney he does everything else or the title company all you have to do is line up the transactional funding and boom keep in mind you always want to get the title insurance most title companies or attorney companies will ask you hey do you want title insurance protect your name title insurance is going to protect you in the event that there's a claim on a title two years three years from now a year from now if somebody says hey i was owed money, money and man, i wasn't I settled, settled with this settled property, property or i have a stake in this property well the title insurance will handle that and not come after you personally if you don't get the title insurance it's a possibility you will owe somebody some money even though you only own the property for 10 15 or 20 minutes okay so keep that in mind and play it safe just get the title insurance all right guys look make sure you go to nineweekcourse.com to get my free wholesaling course right get my free ebook freenasbook.com make sure you follow me on instagram real estate guru and as usual i wish you much success in your life and in your business i will see you in the next vid peace